<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Sea of Stars. Last time we left off, we uh, went to get the Vial of Time for Rashan, and he joined our party, so he is our fifth party member. Seems pretty good. Um, I think I still just got, got used to, like, I, I, I gotta get used to, like, his various attacks and whatnot, so he's there. So, that's cool. And, uh, we're making our way into Mesa Island, going through Autumn Hills. And I gotta say, I love the music, I love the way this looks. I, just, I love Autumn, period, it's one of my favorite seasons now. So, we are about to get out of here, we gotta see what the hell this is all about. <clears throat> well, that was easy enough. Uh-oh. Who saw this coming? What the hell? So he was just waiting here this entire time for us? Alright. Cool. The strolling minstrel. When the moon shines bright on autumn sheaves. Sheaves? Comes forth the abomination of roots and leaves. What the hell is that all about? Alright, well. Maybe I was supposed to kind of give a hint of what we need to do. Frankly, we've seen these piles of leaves already quite a bit, so I think we're supposed to just grab everything. There you go. And then they said something about like meeting to get. There you go. Oh, and I, I, I gotta keep going. I mean, I think we all saw that coming, right? It's the leaf monster. I think Rashan can actually do this. Hold on a minute. Doesn't he have a skill that does both? He sure doesn't. Uh-oh. Well, I guess this gives us a chance to see what the hell Abeyance does. Hmm. Nothing. Pain cone. wasn't really that much pain, but okay. So you just... So you didn't seem to like any form of, like, magic. Well, hold on. Let's try this. Maybe I just didn't use the right thing. He's full of leaves. you think solar would work. Really? Okay, so maybe it's just all physical. Let's give us a shot, then. Nope. Throw leaves. Okay, now he looks very vulnerable. I'm gonna make the assumption here anyway. Yes, there you go. Uh, how much do we have here? One and two. Do one attack. Oh damn! I wasn't expecting him to get his leaves back right away. I was hoping I, I wanted to get as much of these uh, boosts so I can have Valer do her thing. So yeah, I think the the whole purpose here is like um, keep attacking it until like I think we gotta keep pushing it back, and then as we keep doing so, it's gonna lose its stuff, and then we can go ahead and do like lots of damage. Doesn't seem like it hurts us that much, so I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I mean... There we go, okay. Grab all these, and let's do our gold fashion Moonerang here. It's my go-to, as you guys know. Now, obviously, we're not gonna know its weaknesses or resistances because this is a boss enemy, so... I think 
if the game did that, if there was like a amulet that did something like that, it would break the game like crazy. 333, I will take it. Sunball. He's flashing. It's just like a, um, like an old arts, uh, old, uh, old school, what the hell is it? What am I trying to say? Like a beat em up. Dear God. Like, you know, like the, the ones you used to play in the arcades? Like, when you got really close to beating an enemy, it would do this. Alright. Um. Frank, I'm just gonna keep pushing it back. I'll be okay. Alright, with that being said and done. Uh. How many do we have? Three? Alright. Do this again. Well, we got like three, three, three last time we did this, so. Detri has fallen? I'm actually a little bit surprised that's a trophy. What is... Why was that like very special right there? What? I'm a little iffy on all that, what just happened there. But, but either way, that wasn't bad at all. I, I'm still kind of surprised that the game made it seem like it was like a big deal. Um, now I am getting a little worried. I'm like, am I overleveled? I don't, I really don't think so. Even with that Tome of, that tome of Knowledge, or whatever the hell it's called, I really don't think that's the case here at all. Maybe I'm just good at using skills. <laughs> well, there you go. Brigades. I guess it makes sense that they're here, right? Hmm. But he seems more hesitant about everything going on. Flashback. 20 years ago, in the village of Moon Cradle. Come on, Brigades. We're going to miss them. We don't hurry. <laughs> oh, they're adorable. Wait for me! So, like, maybe he sees himself in, you know, Zale and Valer. Mor Moraine, you look a little like Barrett. <laughs> what you doing here? <laughs> if I just do his voice in time. There you are, little ones! We're too late. I wanted to see the headmistress in her battle gear. How did she look? Oh, as fabulous as ever. How long is the cleansing? Maybe we can catch her when everyone returns. You just might. Today's cleansing will be performed by the biggest group to ever take down the dweller. You can expect a swift return. Maybe we should just sit here then. See her then, huh? <laughs> Don't forget to do your chores now, hmm? Oh, come on. We don't even get a break for the, uh, for the Eclipse. Now, if you want it, the twins will play with you later. Oh, yeah, the twins. Fine. Uh -huh, that'd be good now. <laughs> so, this is how he became the headmaster? Like, the headmistress was... Who are they fighting about? Which dweller? Whoa, or uh, maybe it, it is the whole thing with the Dweller of Strife, because they took everything from us. Whoa, I can feel the magic coursing through me. You mean you don't always feel it? Ah, uh, the tingling? Oh no, this is new. I wish I could see Headmistress Mo Mo uh, Moyara fighting. Hey, that's one of the... Uh, well, not necromancers, really. Like, or are they, did they say there are three necromancers? Like, one's good, one's evil. Like, Romaya's evil. Moyara, I think, is good. And, like, Yomara? Is like is that the neutral one? I don't know. I bet she takes down the Dweller on her own. She could, but the twins have to do some, do some spins and flips and combine their weapons like they showed us. Right. Right. 
No more Eclipse. They must be on their way back now. Hey, so when we grow up, will we have to fight big monsters too? That's the plan for us. Just like anyone else born on a solstice. Doesn't that scare you? Not really. It's not like we, we will be alone. And no matter what happens, I'll always protect you. You know that, right? Brigades? Fine. You sleep. I'll keep watch. Oh. It just breaks my heart knowing what happens. A few hours later... I mean, couldn't they have just slept then if the if a big bell was gonna wake him up? Wait. Oh jeez. Help! Moraine is gravely hurt. Uh, help me, Cloud. I mean, uh, brigades. And only Moraine survived. It'll take him a while to heal too, by the looks of it. At least the Dweller in Stri of Strife was destroyed. But we lost so many. Moyara and the twins. Moraine will never be the same again. I mean, I, I always kind of thought about that whole thing, about his name being close to the others. I don't know. So, like, is it, was that his wife and his children? It, I don't know. That might be... I don't know. I'm... May, might be a big assumption there. Hey, does that mean he's the headmaster now? Who else? Starting to see why he resigned as well. A few months later at Zenith Academy. Focus, Brigades. You'll never become strong enough if you don't develop your innate magic. I'm trying. Then try harder. You're way too slow. Hey, how about a bit of patience? Do not interfere. Or what? Aw, oh, talking back. Elena! That will be all for today. Grumpy old man. Well, they are kids, right? Like, they're not going to understand the seriousness of what just happened, so... Hey, what have we left? You mean right now? Why not? I can move the platform now, so maybe I can also open a Forbidden Cavern. Sure beats staying here. Wow, so they just said, yeah, I'm leaving. Screw this. You always wanted to be like Moyara. Over 20 Solstice Warriors died that day, and, and what, we just move on? I was dumb. I don't want to be a hero anymore. I never wanted to be one. And no matter how what I do, Moraine always says I'm not fast enough. I just feel awful. I know, Brugades. If there's a way out, I'll find it for us. Well, I'm cold. Wow. Scoot closer to the fire. I mean, you are pretty close as it is. And I'm hungry. We're helpless. Alright, let's go back. Back to learning magic. Yay. Later that year at the Winter Solstice Festival. Ooh. Is that the Great Eagle? Look, the Great Eagle! I'm sorry. He just floated down a baby? Like, not even, like, gent- Wow, okay. A new child of the Solstice is born! 
Read the name! Oh, it comes with a name? Valer! Wait, what even? Welcome, Valer. May Luana's might, might protect you. May Luana's might protect you! And then a little bit later, I guess uh, during the summer festival, there comes... There it is. Six, six months later at the summer solstice festival. Did you hear that? The Great Eagle delivers on two solstices in a row! A blessed year! Let's not try catching the floating baby! Let's just... <laughs> Boop! Come on, read the name! Zael! Welcome, Zael! May Solon's light guide you! May Solon's light guide you! A few years later... <laughs> now we're talking! Keep it up, Valer. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> hey, look, a girl when he saw his eye. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Hey, the snacks are ready. Oh, are you two joining us? There's plenty for everyone, but I'm not sure we can show you our secret hideout. No time. We have to report to the headmaster. Okay, but please don't look which way we're going. Just last one there does the dishes. They're, they're looking. I remember when we were that age. Zale and Valer always make me smile. We should leave now. Our next meeting is, is today at dusk. Right. So yeah, I mean, I, I do feel bad because like it's like these people are, if you want to say, destined by fate to do this, but it's like they have no control over like what they really want to do. This time? Hmm. So you are willing to hear us out this time? You would rather do without the burden of the Solstice Warrior life, right? A fresh start, perhaps? What exactly are you offering? A way out! We believe you will, de you will deem our terms interesting. Interesting and fruitful, too! Then speak up. I mean, I hate saying I don't really blame them, but... Uh. All right, folks, sorry if there was a cut there. I, uh, my neighbor's dog got out, and I wanted to see if I can help out, and thankfully we got her, you know. <laughs> Woo, that was fun. We will handle everything else, but only Solstice Warriors can conjure a blood moon. But this world would be destroyed. Not before you, you, uh, you got to leave it for a more favorable one. So they're doing a whole plan. Uh, I don't know. Like, obviously, it's not good what they're doing. I understand their motivations, but still, you're doing a whole planet for your reasons. And like, eh. can you guarantee Brugues will be safe? Elida, I. Naturally, we even have ways to make you forget if that is your wish. Forget to become stronger, too. So, what will it be? Why only guarantee his safety? What about hers? I have a bad feeling. The Dweller of Woe isn't that powerful. You know we can take it. Of course, but that other one, but that other one no one knows uh, about in the mountain that wipes memories, it's been growing for a long time. The Acolytes could be bluffing. Not given the knowledge they had of the Matriarch. Plus, it explains a seal. Can't you see this world is doomed regardless? <sighs> Moraine never stopped being a mess, and the kids are way too young to be of any help. I can't accept leaving Zael Valer behind to die like this. We will add a condition that they can go and live with you. Wouldn't you like that? What if they refuse? The Acolytes need us for the Blood Moon. They'll have no no choice but to accept. Not them. I meant... Hey, wait! Let's pretend for now. We'll talk later. There you are! Playing in your secret hideout again? We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? 
<laughs> they're talking about nonsense. Well, not nonsense, but they're talking about scary things. Zail, Blair, please understand. Please accept. So, what is our line going to be like? I'm going to make another uh, another big assumption here. It almost seems like she's going to be like a sacrifice of some sort. I don't know. Enough about that. Let's go to the lake. Lake Turquoise, where there's going to be more fishing and three new fish. So three out of nine of the new ones. So let's, uh, well, you know, first off, let's see what we can find around here. That looks like crabs and... Oh, there's like nothing. Okay, I can't like grab onto nothing here. No, okay. So I guess that's good. You know, there's nothing we can uh, worry about here. So let's... Actually, is there anything on the sides maybe? Uh, I don't think so. All right, fishing. And remember, we this is our like... I, this may be the first time we're fishing where we're using these new relics. Um, like the mithril rod and bearing reel and the cereal filament line. So... Let's see how well this goes. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Fishing's a lot easier now. Not to say it was hard at all, but wow, that just goes quick. A swordfish. All right. Get this crab here. It's, it's, it's like pulling dead weight on us. A clockwork crab. A uh, clockwork crab. Okay. So now we just need one more fish. I don't know if it's you or not. Actually, no, you look like one of the older ones. Oops. Remember, you know, you can push X right at the climax of the jump, and then that'll, that'll daze them. Fluorescent piranha. Wait, did we get... No, we, we've had that one before. Okay. Wait, how does it look like? Look like a starfish. I didn't even see any of those yet. Ah, because they're all the way in the back here. The hell, wow! It's like it was gunning straight for us for a little bit. They might work a lot easier. Woo! A ninja starfish. That's kind of cool. All right. Well, you know what we do. I'm gonna clear out the whole lake because I can. Okay. That's all the fish. And there we go. So Lake Turquoise is all cleared out. Still got six other fish that we need to find throughout the game. And I gotta remember too, like uh, the fish master over at Mirth. If we have more species of fish, he'll give us even more relics. So something to keep in mind. All right. Well, now that that's taken care of, I guess we can uh, go on to this new area here. Song Shroom Marsh. Ugh. I've always been a little blah about like marsh areas. Like I, I don't know what it is about it, but it just eh. But is this like an actual like place where enemies are, or does it? That'd be weird if there's an actual village here, right? Yeah, I'm starting to think maybe it's not like a, an actual village. Am I gonna have to like swim in this doo doo looking water though? Seems like it. The music's good, though. Yeah, I guess it's not surprising I'm going to find a bunch of mushrooms here to harvest, so... It's not like we need any more of those, but still. Can I... Oh, hold on a minute. Yeah, what the hell's that thing? Alright. Do I want to go up? Oh, okay, so... Wait, oh, I just realized there's faces on these shrooms, and they're all stoned out of their minds. They're all happy as hell. Oh, okay, and, uh, yeah, we can heal up a little bit. Wait a minute, how the hell... Didn't I fight and then rest up? I mean, why the hell did I look like I was missing stuff? Or maybe I got into another fight and I just totally forgot. Either way. Go ahead and, uh... The Crone of the Marsh. Now, wait a minute, look at this. Now they're not even smiling. They're just like, eh. Does that have to do with the time of the day? Doesn't really seem like it. Odd. Maybe it just happens 
Time to time, okay. Uh, I see, no, they're, 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 they're laughing now. What a weird place this is. Well, let's see what the hell those enemies are up to as well. Like, uh, this should be fun. Can I jump in here? No, I, I can't. They, they, they purposely have these barriers, so I can't jump into the doo-doo water. Okay. New enemies! What are you guys all about? Your fun toys. Okay, look at that. They are resistant to physical. They're to slashing and blunt. But they are weak to arcane. So this is something that, what's his name, will be good at. We'll do that. So we tried out this. Uh, why not? Let's give it a shot. I do not know the timing of that one at all. That's a little tricky to time, but I'm glad I did that. Um, so they're going to be resistant to this, but I lowered down the power a little bit. That's all I care about. Spin tackle. Th wow, it's like a slingshot towards you, you piece of crap. Okay. Well, how do you like magic? And I love how, like, their idle animation, one of the, you know, like, right now they're kind of, like, chilling, but the other, before this, that one of them was, like, spinning its head around like crazy. It's like, ah, look what I can do! And it's like, oh, okay. So they're not strong or weak against magic, but there you go. It's something. And quite frankly, like, I hate saying it about Roshan, but it's like I'm a little bit iffy on his usefulness in terms of like his attacks and his skills. Like, cool, he has arcane magic that'll help us for enemies that are weak against it. But he, even then, I was a little bit iffy about it. So, well, there you go. Uh, okay, that 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 worked. Now it's just stuck there. Well, there's no reason to... New enemies again! What are you? Dude, shroomy... Shroomy Shroomy Knight. Really? You just couldn't... Just couldn't think of any other name, huh? Shroomy Shroomy Knight. Alright. <laughs> we'll swap with Sarai. Now the thing is... These both are resistant to... Poison. I want to get rid of him, so I will we'll try it out. We'll see just how resistant they are to it. This might be dumb, but whatever. I would say with a name like Shroomy Shroomy Knight, how like intimidating can they be? But you never know. Oh, yeah, they're very resistant. Holy crap. Fungus Bike. Somehow I blocked that. Somehow I didn't block that. Great. So, don't use poison or arcane magic on them. That's, that's fine. How do you like a sunball? then, not that great. Ugh. Yeah, I'm a little iffy on how I want to tackle this. I guess I'll just attack him normally, but, uh... I don't know, they're just kind of like, blah. I guess I can try a little bit boosting as well after this. Why can't I not avoid... I keep doing this thing where it's like, oh, yeah, doing a blunt and strike. And it's like, I gotta use a combo for that. I don't want to. There you go. Those aren't really fun enemies to deal with, but it is what it is. Healing-wise, okay-ish. Hmm. 40 MP for the party, I think. I think I'll do just fine. There you go. That's something. Is 
there anything up here? Oh, there's a chest. Okay. Glad I did that. I was like, well, there has to be a reason, right? What's in you? A leaf cape? Who's that for? All right, so that is for the uh, Sarai, Roshan, or Garl. Quite frankly, it looks like it'll be the best on Garl, uh, considering it's giving a boost in both uh, physical and magic attack. Hmm. Or magical defense, I should say. All right, there you go, Garl. Now, with that being said and done, who can use this now? I'll adjust him, so we can sell it. Alright, cool. These shrooms are freaking me out, guys. I mean, just being super happy. It's like, what do you want? Ooh. Are we, like, far up? Well, I guess we did climb up, huh? Because we get... Is that an island beneath us, or is that or is that a reflection? I, it should be a reflection, right? Am I just going gaga here? Hey, look, they're... That, yeah, that looks like it's below us. Ah, whatever. Think too much about this, and I just want to continue on here, see what we got. I should be really thankful that I don't want to step in this nasty-ass water, but, uh... I'm also wondering what the hell we're going to be finding across here. Oh, not you guys again. Seriously, okay, there has to be some something that I can do both, right? Like, it, it, it's getting annoying how I gotta... Her ultimate is like that, but that can't be right. That's poison. Hold on. Yeah, that's, that is ridiculous. Like... Like, no matter what, he's going to use his skill, because like, I don't have anything right off the bat that will equate to a strike and blunt, at least to my knowledge, right? That time I didn't even... I got lucky that first time, I swear. We'll just try... I'm locking this guy out. And this seems to be the best course of action. Just hit him. You know, and eventually they'll go down. So. Oh, but you're going to do that? BS again. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you boost or anything. It just seems like you're on average you're going to be hitting them for 40-something. Dang it all. Oh, you, you have... Yeah, go ahead and nourish yourself. Ah, Sandwich. Pull off that stupid skill on me again. Ooh, maybe another two fights and we get to level up again? Nice. <clears throat> that don't take forever to level up once more, but it is what it is. And I opened up that. Where is that going to lead me? Up here. Progression! I was like, where do I go now? There you go. Perfect. I did all that for a block. Or like a... <laughs> a crate, I should say. And a bunch of lettuce. Because I'm sure that's, all, that's not nasty at all in this area. Hmm. I don't know why this looks suspicious to me. But so be it. somebody live here? Like, what is going on exactly? Huh. Well, I guess I'll go in. I know, you're... Okay, you just left. Alright. Technically a chest. So, six maple syrups. Hmm. Couldn't find your allies? Oh, oh, 
I spoke up too soon. Okay, well... This, this should be fun. I'm gonna do that because I want to just have... Use the Moon Ring. This is gonna hurt, though. Dang it. I'm sure it's gonna go after her again, too. Even blocking it, I still get hurt pretty bad there. There's all three. You're just hoping for the best here. That enemy placement might screw me up here, but we'll see. Yeah, that did. I didn't like that at all. Yeah, enemy placement was not our friend there. Guys, we're gonna take a little while to get down, but let's at least get rid of one of them. And we're gonna go for a damn spike again. If you don't mind once more, Garl, go ahead and nourish her. I can't believe all this time I was not even doing that right. Like, I thought you had to push X before, like, the apple hits them, but nope. You gotta do it before he takes it out, so it's not an apple, it's a sandwich. We all love sandwiches, right? That was a good block. Right, there you go. Just get rid of that. Alright. Well, this is gonna hurt. I'm hoping I can use Mending Light, which I think I will be able to. I gotta remember, like, when I do, like, when I do proper attacks and all that, it does heal it up. It does bring it up. There you go. Good. So, mess that up. There you go. <coughs> now everybody is gonna get a full... Basically, it always seems to be, like, a, a full heal. Especially when you do it correctly. Oh, but then there goes that. It's just gonna go away. Actually, Garl, I'll let you hit so you can get your MP back. 54, not bad. Oh. There you go. And a level up. This is always fun. What do we got? Three and two, three and three, three and three. Well, in that regard, this magic attack is lacking a little bit. Let's bring that up. Roshan! Okay, this is going to be interesting. So, three and three, six and eight. Mana. Four attack off the bat? Alright, we'll give it a mana. What do you got? Three and three, five and eight. Three and three, and three and two. Now, hmm. I do like the whole, the whole magic attack thing, but, like, everybody else is getting, like, plus three, plus three, so let's bump up our physical defense. Garl, what do we got for you? Three and three. Uh, three and three. Mana point. Three and two. Once again, the, the magic attack, I feel like I'm just gonna not focus on it. Once, the same thing with the, the mana, I just don't know anymore. Let's bump up his physical defense. There we go. So we have three and three, three and three, three and two, four and two. Wow, her magic attack. I know it's just... Well, it doesn't... It, usually it's always plus three and plus three, so this... It kind of does the same thing here at plus four and plus two. So it's like, what do I really want to focus on here? Her defense, physical defense, and magical defense, uh, they're pretty decent. I can bump up her magic attack to get her in the 60s, so there you go. All right. Good. I'm happy with that. And how's everybody's uh, health doing? Not terrible. Um, you know, I'll leave it as is. I don't think I need to use an item. 
So it seems kind of weird. It seems like that shroomy shroomy knight was like hiding something. He didn't know where to go, but... I don't know. Do I have to jump down? I guess I don't. I can climb down. I guess it didn't matter. Uh, hold on, hold on. Oh, what are you doing? Still can't jump into poop water. That's fine. Trust me, guys. I, it's not like I'm. It's making. I'm, I'm making it my life goal to jump in that nasty ass water. But just seeing it, you know, if it allows you to do whatever. There is a chest. I'm a little bit confused. Is, is that a switch? Okay, though there is. So that brings that up. Okay. How do I get this chest? Do I drop down? Oh, let's, let's keep an eye on that. So it's toward the left-hand side. So let's see if there's something there. Um, I'm pretty confused here what's going on. Yeah. I'm not perfect. Yeah, there's a... Wait, I'm still a little bit confused how I... Not what I want to do. I'm trying to figure out how the hell I get up there. Now, I do see where I can drop down to the left. Okay. Now what? Oh, no. I can, I can drop down here. I'm, okay. Duh. There we go. Spirit of Ninja. Ooh, it's like another amulet. Who doesn't have one? Shan, what does this do? Oh, Combo points build 10% faster. That's that's nice, but the thing is, it's going to be on you. Is it going to help everybody? Like, does, it has to be one of you guys. I like all these, though. No, yeah, I, I think it's, just, it's a period. Just have it on. There, that's really nice to have. Okay, now I'm a little bit confused now, because it's like, how the hell do I get... Up there still. Um, I saw like I had to climb, but they also made it seem like I had to climb from up there, but I don't see anything. I can't do anything else here. Oh my god. <laughs> I keep pushing X like I'm way too close to the edge there. Oh, I'm done. I keep forgetting. There you go. I keep forgetting I can do that with the, the, the grapple. Ooh. Three obsidian ore. That more money that I desperately need because I decided to spend it all. All right. <clears throat> there you go. What's in this door? Or it's just literally a way to get to the other side. Whatever. It all works. But once again, somebody had to come had, had to have come here, built this, live here. So, is it just enemies here? Are we gonna find a friend? I don't know. What is this? Looks like this big mushroom should react to the time of day. Looks like it's gonna react to the uh, to the sun, moon. That was kind of cool. It brought down my frames a little bit, but... Alright. Now here's the thing. This is what I needed to do. Hold on, I want to get down there first. All right. So that was the only purpose for, of that. I can't do anything here. I can't grab onto that orange looking thing at the bottom there. Okay. Just figured I'd check. There, there is stuff down there, but I guess I can't do that just yet. So, let's just go back up here then. Whoa! <laughs> Wasn't expecting it to work like that. Alright. Oh, you nerds again. 
Okay, you guys are weak to sun, right? Okay, so... Yeah, look at that thing go like, ah! <laughs> This is... Is not that hurting your head at all? Yeah, like, you're, you're cool with that? So be it. Really? It didn't kill... Ah. Uh, I was hoping it would kill one of them. Close. Very close. We need to get rid of this guy, though, because he's on he was attack. The other guy is going to do it now. Nah, I forgot what he did. Spin tackle. Okay, this is, this is, okay he's going to slingshot himself. I blocked it, but damn, that still hurts. Get him out of the way. You're weak to... Ah. It's arcane, but like... There you go. I mean, it's a little resistant, but so be it. I'm just trying to power through it now at this point. There you go. Get out of here! Oof, man. 33,000 experience left to get to the next level. That's quite a bit, but we'll get there. There's a ladder down there, but... Who's this? Where does this go? Is that where that goes? Hold on. Actually, I'm a little bit iffy on that. It doesn't really... It's not like it's really hitting it, per se. Oh, no, it, it does. Okay, I get it. Now, hold on. Is that is that where I need to go, or... What's this over here, though? Oh, I can't... Can I, I can't do anything here? Okay. There you go. That answers my question. There's some more of those damn enemies over there. What's going on? That seems kind of pointless. Like, like, let's move it up a little bit. Actually, what was the point of doing... I think I'm thinking about that too much. All right. Now, what happens if I didn't uh, have that thing like fully up? Would I would I just been screwed? All right, let's just try our best here. You know, I'm noticing lately that the music for the battles... Oh, that was really stupid. Why did I do that? It doesn't change anymore. Like, whatever area you're in, that's going to be the music for the whole area. And that seems kind of... Uh, I hate saying a cop-out, but it's just like... I'm kind of missing the battle theme. No, not an apple. Uh... Why always after Valer? You guys are pieces of crap. Oh, this will be very joyful. At least one of them is down. Damn it, way too early. I'll break a little bit of its locks. This is gonna be fun. Of course, after Valer again. Actually, no, you're actually Zale. I couldn't really tell. You're almost down, might as well take you out. You, you're not gonna go down right away, so. I'm gonna have you nourish Valer again. There's your half sandwich. I think he's going after Zale. I think the timing for that is just odd for me. There we 
go. Now we... Ah, I can use an item for him. Maybe a hearty stew. There we go. Just almost full. Nothing else here. Let's continue down then. I don't know why it makes it seem like there's something right here, like I can continue down, but I can't. I want to get out of this marsh so bad. I did all that just to, uh, just by getting a little bit of a boost. There you go. All I wanted. That looks interesting. I need something to open this door. Don't know what. Let's see what we can do. I do see enemies down there though. That's always fun. All right. Well, the music stopped. Can't jump over that. All right. What's gonna be right here? Somebody does live here. How the hell did he knock on it without actually moving his hands? Do you think someone lives here? I have your other eye, by the way. Welcome, welcome. I am Yomara, a simple hermit. Yeah, we've already met your sister. Please, there's no need for that tone. Romaya's evil ways are precisely that. Romaya's. I am but a neutral observer in the affairs of this world. You're a seer, aren't you? Does that mean you're getting a prophecy again? Or we're getting one. Well, if it is if it ain't the warrior cook. I have been expecting you. Please eat a fruit from my tree. Okay. Really? Well, don't mind if I do. Just one now. Uh oh. What? This tastes unbelievable! What are they called? Pears. Well, I would never use pears for cooking. They're perfect just the way they are. He's never heard of pears before? I knew you were the chosen one. Hmm? Being a seer has its perks. Like knowing who's capable of fully appreciating a fresh pear. Really? So... That's it? Yes, though the threads of fate seldom speak to me about the about the near future, I only deal in the cataloging of grander arts. My apologies, but I have no insights for you. You, you are. Ble breeze is rising. Why don't you come in for a little bit? I guess we don't really have a choice. Now, which volume was it? Probably somewhere with my older work. The spirit that will carry the night. I was really overthinking titles back then. Uh, primal fear, no. Oh, that's where I put the put the over ovate of seasons. Ah, there it is. Ethereal occurrences, volume two. Let's see here. Uh, yes, I remember now. Another prophecy. Oh, this is exciting. Him. Immortal alchemist, step forward. 
Come on, dude. You can't you can't think that nobody really knew it was you. But, excuse me? You can fancy yourself a god if you'd like, but you remain bound by fate all the same. Now, listen up. During your travels with these young adventurers, you will meet the dead of a forgotten race. Among them will be one asking to fight alongside Solstice Warriors. Be welcoming, for this entity's unbreakable will is the key to achieving the one great feat of alchemy that eludes you still. Huh. What is she talking about? Living glass. Could it truly be? Thank you, Crone of the Marsh. That will be all. I carry a small inventory of items for the sale if you need, and the fireplace is yours if you want to cook or rest. Oh, and you will need a key to progress further. Here. Thank you. Thanks, Yumara. Be well. Oh, I'm glad it wasn't another boss fight. Cool. Um... Let's see if we can cook anything. Oh, I'm always fond of these moon cradle fish pies. Uh, I guess I'll do a hearty stew as well. I know sometimes it takes a little while depending on what the hell you're making, but so be it. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and rest up. And I think I'm going to call the video here. I can't remember exactly what I need to cut out. But I think we're close to an hour as is. But what do you have for sale? Feel free to rest at that fireplace. Yeah, what do you have for your storage? Well, first off... There we go. For the cork, we don't need as well. Don't need this either. Look at that. We're back to 250. That's not bad. After everything that we did. Oh, uh, don't need that. And now... Yes, these are technically upgrades, but is it worth it? You know, like 86 gold for plus 3 physical defense or plus 2 physical? I mean, I think I'm going to hold off. I think we'll be okay. You know, we'll save the money for anything else. And we can make these, so... And look, she has the eye of Yamara. We desperately need it. We, we can actually buy another one. Why, though? Hmm. Well, either way, I think we have everything that we need here, so... Yep, I'm gonna go, go ahead and call it a day. And next time, ladies and gentlemen, we will keep progressing through the marsh here and take things from there. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time for Let's Play Sea of Stars. Love you all so much, and don't forget to spread that love around. Have a great day, everybody.